Dear Dad, you told my brother that you had no son. Perhaps you might also have told him you would listen to his point of view. You discuss long hair and beards. Isn't the measure of an American much more tangible than a single strand of hair? Isn't it, in part, recognizing the utter futility of trying to judge the inner man by his outer garb, our color, our religion, our so-called social status? Isn't this what America is all about? I ask you, Dad, to identify with a generation that was born after the bomb and weaned on outer space. Yes, Father, some of our values have changed from those you clung to in your youth. But remember, too, that the world in which we live is not the same. When you were young, one finger on one button could not destroy the world, and no man saw with his own eyes our lonely planet from the heights of outer space. Long hair on men, white and black, does it really matter, really? Dad, you asked us to judge adults as individuals, and we will. We recognize that all adults are not drunken military imperialists seeking to murder young civil rights workers or napalm innocent children in the name of democracy. But we also know that we cannot sit silently on the sidelines in the face of such wanton acts of violence. For these convictions, we accept the blame. Is God dead? My brother asked this not because he doubted his own belief, but rather because he questioned the hypocrisy of yours. How is it that you can worship a God who has commanded, Thou shalt not kill, and then condemn your only son for refusing to go off to war? Do you believe that if in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, that in the end it is the destiny of man to destroy it? You ask why it is my brother burned his draft card, and I would answer thus. He is not anti-American, simply pro-mankind. Every war for every purpose has already been fought. Ideology, religion, politics, territory, love, hate, justice, injustice, and to what avail? Is it possible that there might not be a better way? We are stirred more, my father, by the excitement of an idea whose time has come, peace on earth than by all the drumming of all the drummers who have marched the youth of mankind off to doom in war. My brother loves you, Dad, and I do too, but we also love all fellow men, so do not weep that you have lost a son. Rejoice! From this moment on, one less man will shoulder one less gun.